So guys, these are the finished pieces of the the walking stick. It looks really, really very nice, as you can see. See? These are the finished pieces. Very nice. Whatever I say. Anyway, even young people, they are using it. So, this one also looks incredibly nice. The cop mask, this one they call it a, a cop mask. <laughs> this one is an African man, what is this? Firewood, eh? And, and then this, this is firewood, hey. and then this one is what? This is the wood. No, this one here. Oh, uh, a small, a small pot. Eh? Okay, so this one is an African man from fishing firewood in the bush, and he's also carrying a, a small pot. There, actually, I, uh, I don't know how, <coughs> how they call it in English, but I think they, they use it for burning, drinking water, it's like a calabash, something like that. This one is a, this is a giraffe, eh? so this is a giraffe, and then this is an elephant. So this is an African woman carrying a, and she's sitting down on a chair carrying a pot. A pot is very, very important because it, it is, it's used for cooking, it's used for carrying water. That's why in most of these things you are going to see a pot. Very, very important. So this is the other one we were seeing before. This is a shield for, for protection against the, the spear. This is the sharp end of the spear. Uh, so this is a warrior ready for war. And then this is bow and arrow. So this is an African woman and this is a baby. Uh, she's breastfeeding the baby. She's also seated down on the chair here. This guy is too heavy. <laughs> this is Anna, this is a museum with his that the stuff is too heavy. This is a museum. This is a spear. Of course he's having beards. And then this is a, a shield. From what they are trying to show you here, it is a warrior. This is an African woman uh, carrying a pot. I think she's from fishing water. This woman from fishing water. And then here is the baby. Normally, uh, in this part of uh, the world, actually, we are still in Buganda. The, women, the, the babies are being tied at the back. They are being tied at the back with a piece of cloth, as you can see. So this, these people, they normally wear a very long clothes up to here. So this is how the clothes is being tied here and then here. Then the pot. In Uganda, In Uganda, you cannot do anything without talking about banana. So, this guy is a farmer and he's carrying banana. This, this is banana, he's from harvesting banana. He's carrying banana on his head. 
as you can see. That and look all the looks to be a, a boy from the portrait. This is a finished mueso. You make it like this, what you want, you just have to clean it. Then over here, these are masks, face masks. How do I do that? Different types. <laughs> A fork, and then this is a spoon, also made out of out of wood. This mask. This one is used for what? For drumming. Oh, this is an opener, eh? made out of wood. Okay, and then these are uh, key holders. So these are the other key holders they were making. This is the finished one. These are finished key holders, you can see. Allah, Uganda, Uganda, Africa. These are all key holders. This also goes up. This is a bag. These are all different types of bags. So these are the So this is who? Joseph. Eh? This is Joseph and Maria. And this is Jesus. Eh? Oh yeah, this is Jesus, Ma uh, Maria and Joseph. So, it's really incredible how this guy is. So, so this is also a religious artifact. And I, and I, this is Jesus. So like that. But it's a religious artifact as you can see. So, so these are trying to show you that there are this, of course, this is a horn. This is a horn, and this is Uganda. I think they are trying to say that uh, Uganda is full of animals. Can't even. This is an elephant. Very aggressive. 
all this was achieved just from wood and uh, a knife. And a stretch skin. So these are this is a whip basket. And then this is a comb, a hair comb. These are hair combs made just from wood. A hair comb from wood. Looks too strong. Can you imagine? A hair comb from wood. This is so incredible. <laughs> <laughs> These are plates, all made out of wood. These guys are really, these guys are really, really incredible. This is talent, talent in show. This is real talent. Who does this? What? <laughs> from wood, a plate. From wood. I think I will have to buy this. Sebo, how much do you sell this? Fifty thousand Ghana shillings. So this piece is this piece is at fifty thousand Ghana shillings, which is about. Uh, I will let you know in dollars. So, no, there is also this. So, this is an umbrella. Basket. I think this is a shelf. She is trying to help a shelf here. And like as you all know, the source of River Nile is in Uganda, and uh, there is also Lake Victoria in Uganda. So this is a boat, and then this one is for sailing the boat. This one is for sailing the boat. So, uh, 
and then this is back clothes this one actually this is real this one is real real back clothes it is made out of real real back clothes so long ago people in the uganda or in uganda they used to wear back clothes before the europeans brought this kind of cloth we, they used to wear back back cloth it was made out of uh, out of uh, a, a, a black pack. So this is the boat and these are the sailors. So this one has, has, has already caught a fish. This is a, a hook. This is a hook and then this is fish. So the, the, normally the fish which is eaten here is tilapia and this is this guy has caught tilapia. They are fishing, they are going to fish. So this this is still back cloth. Now uh, they you, you, you Ugandans like staying together, we can call it socializing. Normally after work in the evening. The men gather together to discuss ideas uh, of how the, the, the village should be grown together. So when they are together, this is a pot actually. So this is marwa, it is a, a local beer. They use a, a pipe made with a stick to take it with hot water. I think if, if you would like, if you would like me to make for you a video on how marwa is made let me know in the comment section below so that i can make for you a video how marwa is made here in uganda step by step so in uganda we have monkeys the chimpanzees we have the monkeys we have so many So this guy looks to be a guard, he's also wearing a back cloth, this is a spear, this is a spear, this one, it's a spear and then this is a, this is a shield, when there's, when there, when someone is spearing you, you use this to protect yourself. Of the spear, yes, okay. and then these ones are religious artifacts. I'm sure you know what to be. This. Then this one, I, I'm not even sure what they are for. This thing, this. What is this? So this is a bowl, a bowl so, and then this is a cow taking water. I don't know whether you have just seen what I've, I've seen. So this is a water bowl, and then there is an animal. There's, there's an animal. They just say, just told me it's a zebra. It's now taking water. These are also 
is a religious artifact. Uh, so we are inside a big compound. Looks to be a house. So many, so many people. I cannot even explain them and finish. So, this is a map of Africa. Okay. All the countries inside. As you can see, this is South Africa. This is Botswana. Uh, Angola. The Democratic Republic of Congo and Uganda is here. This is uh, Kenya, this is Tanzania, Rwanda, Burundi, Sudan, Egypt, uh, Libya, Chad, Nigeria. So there are some Mali, there are so many Mauritania, there are so many countries in here, all the countries in Africa. These people are really, 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 really incredible. So if you are wondering where we are or where these things are, by buying their artifacts, that they are going to leave my number in the description box below, so that in the case you need these artifacts either delivered to you from wherever you are, they will not want to do that. Actually, this, I did show you this. This is a, a motor and a pistol. It's used for, for grinding uh, ginats, uh, cassava, and all these other things. So, like I was saying, I can put a container. I didn't even show you this is a container. So if you if, if you if you want to support these guys by maybe buying this some of these artifacts you have liked them, I'm going to leave my number in the description box below. Feel free to contact me through WhatsApp or through my email address. I'm going to leave both of them so that we can see how you can get in touch with these guys and then. Them in any way you, you feel like maybe by buying these things, uh, they are really, really nice, really, really incredible. Basically, I admire them a lot. Thank you so much for watching this video. See you again in the next video.